Hi everyone, this is Catcomb1 here, and despite what you might think at the start, this is not a sigil level or a sigil inspired level. Instead, it's actually a level that predates sigil by a good 10 years, and it's a level from the second New Doom Community Project, the sequel to the first one that I've been recording and remember on map 31 when there was a platforming puzzle well it turned out you had to have the same lower and upper texture and I said I suspected that was done by Fatal well his m map in the second New Doom Community Project I I which is this map is the reason why I strongly think that was his work. On top of the fact that in the first New Doom Community Project, he did do Map 7 Identity Check, which, well, you had to go, always go through the blue gates and never the red gates. That was actually the first Doom level I ever did voice in. But anyways, I've actually recorded this level before about two years and three months ago in December of 2017. But I thought I'd redo it with voice and following one of probably his puzzles in the first New Doom Community Project. So, you see these eyes here and... They're not like Sigil where you want to shoot them. Absolutely not. Because they are in fact evil eyes and almost the exact opposite of Sigil. Do not ever shoot one of these. In fact, do not ever shoot if you can be seen by one of these. Because... They're not, well, they're not actually a monster of any kind, but if you shoot in any area where you can be seen by one of these, so let's say, for example, I'm just going to blow up these barrels. Well, you are completely inundated by ouch vials, and you are never going to survive, and... Trust me, they just teleport in throughout the whole level. You don't stand a chance even if you brought in weapons and ammo from a previous level. So instead, I've got to find another way to blow these barrels up. And there's a little side door over here. And notice there is no evil eye in this particular area. So once the door closes, I can blow these barrels up. Now notice, these are evil eyes. So I do not, do not shoot here. Don't shoot here. Which isn't really tough because there's no monsters you have to avoid. But like, don't blow those barrels up. And now notice through this little hole in the wall, I have a view to the same barrels I was talking about at the beginning of the level, except in this case, I am not in the view of any of the evil eyes, which means it's safe to shoot. Now what actually happens, and I'll show you in the auto map here, is see all these areas over here that I'm moving my map over? Well, if I IDDT again, those actually out, all of those are out vials. All of those triangles. 
and they don't move until they heal you but if they heal you they have nothing blocking them from running right into the teleporters to the south of, to the south of them so if you shoot and they heal you all of them are simply going to go through the teleport those that are directly south of them and they're going to flood various areas of the level and you're basically going to have an unwinnable situation enough said There's a few other kinds of puzzles, but these crushers aren't hard to time. If you simply go in when they're raising, you'll get through. There is a secret in here. You don't, I'm not in the view of any evil eyes here. Now again, just time the crushers as they're raising up. And you'll get through all of them. Now of course there's an evil eye here. I do not want to shoot. And you need all three keys. Now this side I think is one of the more half-baked parts of the level. Because simply... All you really have to do is there's no nothing's hidden at all. You you simply cannot shoot the barons of hell. You have to but sometimes your path is through the main hallway and sometimes it's through one of the sides and you can't see on the map which one it is. So you kind of just have to discover. In most cases you're going back and forth. But sometimes you have to do the same side twice in a row. It's a little tough though if you're trying not to take damage from a bear one, which actually took damage. And here's the red key and you don't have to shoot just to pick the key up. So just don't shoot. And... I could save the wet switch till later, but there's no need for me to. Now here's the blue key, and... If you want to blow up those barrels... ...that... ...we, I saw from the other side then do it right now because it's your only going to be your only chance to do it. You don't have to do it though. In fact, it leads to a secret that for the most part I haven't figured out how to get. Except I know you must blow up those barrels right now if you want to get there. Because once you take the blue key, hidden behind many of those walls are evil eyes. Don't shoot and this witch is backed by a bunch of barrels and you can't shoot because of that evil eye here now this wall blacks the view of that evil eye to you but if I shoot here I'm going to if I just shoot like this I'm going to die instantly because I have no room between me and the barrels and Four of them are going to blow up right in front of me and the other ones are still close enough to cause more splash damage. So actually you need to spot the little opening in the floor here. Blow up a barrel and get out of the way and make sure you stop firing before you come out of the cub before you come out of cover. Because now you can access the switch. And now this Revenant... Of course you cannot just take him on right now, those evil eyes exposed.
So the only way this wall blocks the view of all the evil eyes to you. So you have to peekaboo shoot basically. And be careful. You really have to be careful where you are because if you go forward too far, one of the evil eyes can see you again. I mean, you saw what happened. The outvial started flooding in. And that kind of makes it tough not to take damage because you really have to be in a precise position and make sure you're safe before you shoot. And they were blocking this doorway and of course these two barons you can't you can't kill these two hell knights I mean either not barons those evil eyes right behind them and you can't you have evil eyes here too so you cannot kill these two shotgunners what you have to do is actually stand in the middle here and provoke them to start firing at each other which, of course, they will only continue to do if you stay in the line of fire. So you have to be dodging their fire, which is a little easier given you have a cloak. And this witch will do what's always fun to heal, crush the Hell Knight. And this which note, we're just walking our way back out from the blue key here. So there's an evil eye here. I can't just destroy those barrels there. I have to go or those barrels there because of this evil eye. So I've got to run, hit this witch. And they can't blow up the chain gun, though, of course, because there's evil eyes here. And you've kind of got a situation similar to the first puzzle where you can blow them up to a tiny hole in the wall. And you'd better be able to possibly soak up some chain gun or fire or get lucky because you have to go around to the other side and do the same thing. Thing. And then you have to get behind the chain gunner and that will crush him but you have to get there with enough help. It's not that easy to do if you don't have a good depth supply of help. And then we finally back out into the central area. And the yellow key is actually a little bit of a trick because you can just open this door with the blue and red key and get the yellow key. Now I know this... Oh, I figured something out. This witch is going to be paramount in getting all the secrets. I think I just figured it out on the spot. Except, it's very hard to get back across the crusher area. In fact, I don't know if it's even possible. But... And I don't have a lot of time to be recording right now, so I'm afraid I'm going to just have to demonstrate what I just figured out that Switch does. And furthermore, I think... I also don't know how to lower this wall, but... 
Yeah, I don't, I haven't figured out fully how to get to that secret yet. So, oh, well, I know this much. This red teleporter takes you back to a stout, I believe. So, if you flip the switch and don't fall in the lava like I did, And then take the red, oh no, it's actually the gray teleporter. Oh, you, oh because the red teleporter's mouth exit, except as you already saw, it's not an exit teleporter. You take the gray teleporter now. Except you can't go through this way because there's Keiko demons blocking the area. You must go through this way. Now the ammo's raised and the BFG is lowered, but I never, I've never figured out how to actually raise the bridge to access the BFG is the is my problem. So yeah, that's part still that secret still work in progress. I'll cover the. Regular level, which is all I have time for. So this is mouth exit, and now, if you're playing this for no saves and no death, remember Abba 12 from Plutonia, and how the end part of that level is going to infuriate you? Well, you ain't seen the end part of this level yet. I mean, just like Abba 12, you have all three keys, and... Then the teleporter mouth exit is revealed, but behind that teleporter, the all those evil eyes there means you cannot fight that spider master mind. And you have walls for cover, but if you walk in any of these teleporters, you have to start over again. So take cover, and see, I just went through a teleporter. Many of these walls are pointing the wrong way to give you cover, so you have to just keep moving, run the gantlet, and see, I missed this the last one. I walked into the teleporter. And then... These walls close and they give you get some cover to start, but now these teleporters take you back to the switch. So you have to run the whole gauntlet again without walking into a teleporter. And then you have to do the same on this side. So these teleporters will take you back to the stout of this area. And notice there's a lot of luck in if you're low on health with just not getting hit. And strafing away from the teleporters in time. And yes, these teleporters will take you back to where the switch I just flipped was. And this is the toughest one to make because... First, I walk in this teleporter way too frequently. And secondly, I flip the switch and I have to get all the way back here to get a, to get a point where I can relax. And then now I'm almost done. I can get out, but imagine doing all that if you have no saves and you just have to rely on the spider mastermind not hitting you between those places. You can take cover. Now you can crush the spider mastermind. 
And that's it. That's the end of this level. So yeah, I'm... Provided I'm allowed to use saves in the last area, I like this level, I like the idea. I actually wish there would be another level like this, and I don't really know of one, despite the fact that it's been over 10 years. I don't know of another level exactly like this one. I know puzzle levels, but this one is still unique in a couple ways I can think of. And, well, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed.